Hello administrators, so let's install Ubuntu 20.04 on VMware ESXi. First, let's download Ubuntu from its official website. I will skip over till the download is complete. Now that the download is complete, I will log into my VMware ESXi to upload the ISO image. Upload the ISO image to proper data store. Now let's create the VM. The following few steps are self-explanatory. Assign the name to the VM and select the operating system family. Select the data store where the VM will be put. Now time to assign some specs. I am going to assign it 4 CPU. Four GB of RAM and 80 GB of space and make it thin provisioning so that space is occupied on data store only when needed. Next, now let's assign the CD which we upload earlier, so that we could install from it. Make sure the connected power on is checked and let me make sure that I have specified the correct ISO image. Click Next and Finish. Next I usually assign it a tag so that I can remember the VM's purpose in the future. Now, from VMZ list, select the VM and click power on. The VM powers on and the installation begins. Double click on the console thumbnail to bring Select your language and keyboard layout. Use up down arrows and tab to navigate. Enter to confirm and escape to go back. Assign IP, for the time being, I will let it be. I do not have proxy so I will leave it as blank and hit enter. Leave the repose mirror as default. In this step, I will need to partition the desk, but since this is a VM, I will be allocating whole space, but you can create custom storage layout.
press escape to go back. Now we will write the newly created partition table to disk. Installation has begun in the background to save time, here you enter your username and password, try to enter 8 alphanumeric characters or more as password, and make it a habit. Install OpenSSH server, yes definitely, we will be connecting to it remotely. And leave the rest as default for the time being. Here we will not install any snap, we will later when we need one, we will do it using task cell. So hit done and wait for the installation to complete. Now hit cancel the updates and reboot, we will perform this step from within the server. Once the system reboots, enter your username and password. The first thing I usually do is to update my system. So first update the repos. And then update the system. That's it for today, let me know what else you want to learn, I will make sure I create a nice video. Till then keep safe. And stay at local host.